misty here and oh my it's been so long since I have felt like I've recorded a video I am starting my drills and chills picture I have been working really hard getting pens done as because as you guys know I have decided to start selling polymer clay pens so I have been working on that for some time. Um, I am also doing cover minders and... Hmm. Alright, let's see if I can find that magnet. I made this little cover minder for myself. It's a little wolf. I love wolves. They're my favorite animals. Okay, there is a magnet under this paper somewhere. There you are. Okay. And I have my little wolf with me. So, I have been busy working on that kind of stuff. Um, I did start an Etsy shop, but honestly, it's really hard to sell stuff on Etsy because they take so much of your money and so <clears throat> I might be steering away from doing Etsy at this point and just um, kind of wait until I can maybe start my own website or something I'm not sure yet but <clears throat> I wanted to start this drills and chills because it's been sitting there waiting patiently and honestly I've been doing so much clay work and stuff that I have not been able to diamond paint for a little while so it has been so much fun though doing the different designs for the pens and stuff like the 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 stuff is and end, like endless. It's like in, you can do so many things. Um, I just realized my where did I put it? Oh, here it is. All right. So this is one of the pens that I made for myself a while back. Hmm. I need some wax. What did I do with the wax? So I have just been um, really busy also with my kiddos um, since I decided that I was going to go, um, that my kids are going to go virtual this year, the whole year. I flip-flopped around a lot because as you guys know, I have two kiddos that have, um, special needs and, um, so I flip-flopped around and I felt real guilty on not sending them. I felt guilty about sending them. Um, so pretty much the day before school was set to start for my three-year-old, I decided once and for all that I was not going to send them. Um, they wanted to, they wanted to have him meet outside the classroom and then they wanted him to be brought in by the staff and they wanted us to just leave at the door so that stressed me out because my three-year-old is 
pretty nonverbal. So he is not able to express himself much other than crying. And so I put myself in in his, you know, shoes kind of and was like, how would I feel if um somebody came outside and just said bye mom and then left like how would i have felt um for that to happen my mom went in in with me for my first day of kindergarten i went in for my 18 year old's first day um and so i went in for my five-year-old's first day so it it's definitely scary thought that, you know, like I, I won't be able to go in and see how he's going to adjust. Um, because when I would take my five-year-old to the school last year, um, he was in, um, he was in preschool for, for four-year-olds. When I would take him in. Okay, Google, cancel the timer. When I would take him in, um, he, my, my three-year-old would cry anytime the teachers or kids or anything looked at him, said anything to him paid any any kind of attention to him whatsoever so I worried about his adjustment to going and if you know COVID wasn't going on right now I would be all for it because I could just you know stay with him in class if I needed to um, instead of trying to go back and forth plus my kindergartner it's fine plus my kindergartner um he he's still doing virtual while the others are the first ones being brought back like the younger ones are the guinea pigs i guess you could say what i don't know that's why I need my own oven mitt. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to do that. Uh, so. I just, you know, like. I'm also, you know, immunocompromised. So my sister is immunocompromised. So it, it's kind of scary to send him to school when we could possibly get sick and honestly I don't feel like it's worth it I seen some pictures um from the school the kids have their masks down around their their nose like their nose is not in there um you know kinds of things like that and you know it's gonna happen I under like I fully like expect it so I just I just decided I did not want to take the chance, the risk with my kiddos. So I decided to keep them both virtual. So unfortunately I don't get that um, two hour time in where I have nothing going on and no kiddos to interrupt. So videoing is, is like harder. Um, and you know, with a kid, with ADHD and the other kid nonverbal, it makes it really hard to video sometimes. So I'm just doing what I can when I can do it. And I am hoping that I can continue to at least post once a week, if not more. I mean, I, I just don't know. Um, and I'm also considering maybe doing um, polymer clay stuff on my channel as well because I don't want to um, be doing that kind of stuff and then not um, and then not 
video because I'm doing, you know, stuff for making pens in my business and stuff. So I'm just, I'm trying to find a balance between everything and, um, it's really hard. I like, I gotta say that I, I have some late nights sometimes and, um, early mornings. So my husband, he's, um, working now. So he's working, he works four 10 hour shifts that could possibly go over. And so we, we've had that, um, kind of a thing, um, going on. And so we're just trying to, <clears throat> excuse me, we're just trying to figure out a balance for everything and be able to do the things that all the things that we want to do and need to do. And, you know, my kiddos have appointments, um, daily to like almost, I feel like it's daily you guys, because I am like, um, seeing it They're They're seeing their speech therapist twice a week. And then, um, they have an OT and then also a PT that come in to my home and help them with stuff, um, with their stuff. And so I'm pretty busy. And so I just, I try to, um, you know, keep up with everything and hopefully not get burnt out at the same time. So, but I have definitely been on a polymer clay kick. Like I love learning how to do new and fun canes and, um, you know, different designs. I, I, I find it so much fun. Um, I just did a, I just did a bunch of diamond painting pens, um, from my scrap clay. And I think they turned out so awesome, like so amazing, um, that like they have multiple layers going on and like some colors over on top and some of it looks like galaxies and they just look really awesome. It's, it's fun to, um, see what they get, what they turn out like after you bake them and everything. So I've definitely, definitely like it. I, I started to do, um, a little bit of jewelry too, just because the, um, the person that I bought the de-stashing um, polymer clay stuff from she had some jewelry making stuff in there so I've made some earrings and um, you know a few different things so I'm just you just have to set it down so I um, am still waiting to hear back from the winner of the contest I announced it yesterday but I haven't heard from her yet so I'm hoping I have contacted her and I'm just hoping I hear from her so she can get her fabulous pen and I'm hoping to have some more contests in the future I hope that um, more of you will join in this next time and because um, sadly only two people entered the contest and um, so it was, um, it ran for like a week and a half. So I was hoping that more people would enter, but maybe next time. Uh, and then I'm trying to think, um, we're still waiting to hear back on our genetics testing stuff. Um, and we haven't heard back from them yet. They were saying that it was still pending. So, still waiting to hear back for that. And I, I've been selling my, um, 
clay pens and stuff in some of the de-stashing groups on Facebook and on on my Instagram and stuff like mostly word of mouth at this point because Etsy is so expensive and of course Macari and I have sold a few things on eBay but a lot of a lot of it I don't I don't like much I don't like eBay much um so but and sheesh the neighbors are loud today so my husband's been working pretty hard <laughs> the uh package delivery thing is kicking his butt comes home like pretty exhausted these days my five-year-old don't be tired <laughs> that's what he tells them whenever he doesn't want him to be tired and falling asleep don't be tired so I'm just working on the number twos which is 310 So, my husband, um, I don't know if you guys watched that video or not, but, um, where I, oh, maybe I didn't even do a video on it. Um, so, I think I announced it on, on Instagram, my drills and chills. So, the drills and chills, um, when I, when I posted this, my, or when I bought this, my husband, <laughs> like laughed and said look at the pug on the umbrella and I laughed because when I when I purchased it I didn't notice it but he's like there's a pug dog and then like the eyes and the ear and the the snout and the eye and the other ear and I was like it really does look like a pug on there um so but it's I was like it's supposed to be an umbrella so I am starting this on the first day of fall. My husband told me, he's like, you need to start it today because it's the first day of fall. And I'm like, oh, okay. So I decided since my kiddos went to my sister's house for a little while that I would definitely start it. Especially since I've been kind of slacking off a little bit. But... I feel like I'll get it done. It's not that that's not going to be a problem. But I told my husband, you got to just do a little bit at a time and just keep going. <laughs> so, um, I think it's super fun to enter these, um, contests as well. Um, and I want to thank um, Kim from K Diamonds for putting this on and, you know, conquering the task of actually having to go through all of those Instagram posts and find all the people that are participating. Because I know I follow the hashtag um, Drills and Chills 2020, and there's like thousands of post so definitely throw my hat off to her so yeah I would I don't know if I would have the patience to go through all of the the different names and things to to throw a contest that big but I mean it's one thing for you to enter a contest, like, you know, in a video comment and have something like sorted out, but it's something else entirely for her to have to go through and find the unique names of everybody. I don't know. Maybe it's easy. I've never done it. So, but I appreciate the, 
I think it's like a lot of fun to come together as a community and do these things, have, you know, fun things like the, they're doing a Chuck, Chuck Pinson a thon too, number two, because they did one, I guess, last year. I did not do that one though. I like Chuck Pinson. Um, I am not in love with Chuck Pinson stuff, so. I like it, but I'm not in love with it, so. And the way I fill up my wall space, I gotta love, I gotta love what I'm doing because I not just like it. <laughs> because I don't have enough wall space. <laughs> I told my husband, we're gonna have to move into a mansion just to support my diamond having Diamond painting habit. Habit. <laughs> I can't even talk. So, I mean, I like look at every inch of wall space and I'm like, they all need diamond painting. So, but it's hard because, you know, if you want to stick with themes, then you've got to figure that out. But it's just really hard, but... My whole, like, bedroom is going to be covered. And what sucks is in this apartment that we live in, it, the, we have a sliding glass door in our room, so that cancels out an entire wall. I was like, man, can we put up a wall? I don't, I don't care about the sliding glass door. We don't ever open it. Can we put up a wall instead, please? <laughs> Because I don't think I want to hang them on the glass. Because I just don't know that that will be healthy for the diamond paintings. Um, trying to think. Is there anything else that I need to update on? The neighbors have been pretty good about keeping their dogs off the porch because their dogs had puppies. So I'm pretty sure they're keeping her inside now so that, you know, she doesn't need to. Although we did have a recent encounter with it and the guy came downstairs and was telling my husband, oh, don't worry, it's not pee. You know, I was up there cooking and I knocked something over. They always have some kind of excuse. But my husband was just coming in the door and the, uh, the, the woman was pulling the dog into the apartment. So I'm like, yeah, right. Like you did not just let your dog out to go pee. Come on now. But... I don't know, it's been kind of quiet, but it's not at least happening every day for right now, but it just sucks because I can't let my kids go out and burn any kind of energy out there because they might get peed on. Also, I have to like watch my friends and family coming over or like, you know, the therapists and stuff because I don't want them getting peed on while they're walking through the door. That would be a disaster. <laughs> I shouldn't tell them to bring a change of clothes just in case <laughs> that ever happens. It's insane. So, um, Is there anything that you guys would like to see happen with my channel? Um, you guys have any interest in watching um, how I make polymer clay pens or cover minders or anything like that? I've actually, um, since I did the resin pour on my desk, I've actually, I'm using the remaining 
resin to make cover minders. Um, and I just made, um, I just made a few of them. Um, I just made a few of them. I'll show you only a few of them, but I am, ah, no, I did not just put that on there. Okay. So that is a ribbon. I think it turned out really cute. Gold, gold color ribbon. Um, for whatever, you know, cause I, I know it's for childhood cancer, but I don't know. Um, I think it's also to support troops and, um, so I'm not sure what else the yellow stands for. Um, this one is pink for breast cancer. Um, I'm not sure if there's any other things I can't, I don't know off the top of my head, but I did like a little mermaid, um, and a starfish. These turned out so nice. They're super sparkly. I have diamonds. And I have a turtle. It's so cute. So I just made those into cover minder. Well, I haven't put the magnets on them yet, actually, yet, but <clears throat> I have those. Oh, here's a pair of earrings that I made too. <laughs> so that's kind of what I've been doing. Um, I just made a stained glass pen too and I think it looks so cool um I wanted to see if I could find like a LED light that could like go in there like that's like wireless but you know I can dream <laughs> because if this pen lit up like it would look like a stained glass because the clay that's colored not the black but the clay that's colored is actually um translucent clay so it would definitely light up like you can see through it when you hold it up to the light so but yeah so i've been you know playing around with the clays and stuff and learning lots of new stuff and tricks so i'm just curious if anybody is interested in seeing that but I'm going to go ahead and end this here and you know if you guys are not interested in uh, the polymer clay thing then I understand I am just excited you know since I um, have sold a few pens and um, it's definitely um, humbling because when I first started um, I didn't know if I would be able to sell them or not. And so, uh, I was actually able to sell a few and then my husband was like, wow, you are actually, um, you know, selling them. So yeah, I, I'm okay with you, you know, starting your business and stuff like that. So it was nice, but for a few days he was kind of a negative Nancy. <laughs> Okay, a negative somebody. Karen? I don't know. <laughs> um, so, I was just like, you need to give it some time. I'm literally doing this by word of mouth. It's not easy. Um, so, anyways, if you are interested in anything, please let me know. And I will get back to you. You can message me on Instagram. Um... My links are all in the description box below. Um, so you can contact me by email or by um, Instagram, Facebook. I actually um, have a business page now. Um, you can also find me in Facebook groups under Misty Anthony Designs. Get a hold of me. I will be hopefully recording again in a few days and have a new video posted 
Let me know also if you are interested in me running another contest. Bye guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more diamond painting content. And maybe polymer clay. Bye.